Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Jeep Air's Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And here we are on the second to the last day. Tomorrow will be the last day of the dice game. You'll have to get your entries in for today and tomorrow if you haven't got them in already, or even if you have, get some more entries in. Uh, we have, to date, right now, 440 entries. That's 440, just like a, a Mopar, a big, big block Mopar. Yeah, uh, the winds have just picked up. Geoengineers have been working all day hard at this. They couldn't stand it to see us have a nice clear sky and no wind. So they've been, they've been going since early this morning and uh, it's really gotten some clouds into the area and some new streaks here and little crisscrosses here and there, whatever the heck that means. And I can see a jet right up there. I don't know if I can get him in close enough for you to see him, but he's just going into that cloud bank right there. And there's no contrail coming off the back of him, nothing. So these are not contrails, these are something else. All right, I've said it before and I'll say it again. They're messing with us. And these winds are starting to pick up now because they were real mild earlier. Just a nice breeze, and just comfortable as can be. And now all of a sudden they're starting to gust up a little bit. So anyway, one of the things I did was I brought out my, my little floater test here. And as you can see, this is the same type of foam that they make those um, boogie boards or, or body boards as you call them um, they make them out of this type type of uh, foam so this is closed cell foam and it floats really well and it doesn't absorb water so it won't sink it's been here all day since early this morning and this is late afternoon so it's working great so I did put the pump on because I'm going to be draining this totkuzi out. The water has got a lot of dead algae in it from sitting all winter and I've been using this to water my trees. But here's the new pump and I pulled the T off of the other pump that was in the main tank and that's how I, I mounted it. I, I cut some slots in it with my hacksaw so that it was a flexible end and then I've got this stainless steel um, uh, hose clamp. So you got to use stainless steel ones, the ones that are good for burial, otherwise they'll rust up like crazy. So what that does is it blows water out both sides of this thing so it doesn't uh, jet around under the pool. So I do have it hooked up temporarily to a battery right here and uh, let me show you that. That's the old pump you see right there. Anyway, if I clip this onto this wire, oops, come on, hold still. All right, so this thing is running now. You notice how it kind of like just sits still, doesn't really jet around the pool? That's what I was going for. So let me show you the pump pumping. There it is. Red, white, and blue. So, yeah, it's doing a good job. And like I said, I'll have the main wire that hangs down to this will be tied off to the top of this cone. And then I'll shove the rest of it down inside. So as the water goes down and this uh, flotation device goes down, the wire will pull out at the top so it won't get tangled. Pretty cool little unit. I think it's going to work just fine. So... Anyway, I don't need to leave that running and run my battery down. I took this battery out of the battery room where I had it charging on my solar to keep it up to par. And uh, I did bring out the controller, but it's still at 12.9. So it's got plenty of power in it. It's a Harbor Freight um, 35 amp hour battery. So it works pretty darn good. All right. So... Winds are blowing like crazy because of all of the 
work the uh, geoengineers are doing. I wonder what that X is about. It's probably because I complain about them, so they marked my place and said, hey, give this guy the weather. But uh, yeah, you can see how the weird, how, how they spread, these things spread out. It's just just weird stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. But they started early this morning and they've been going all day. And uh, they're not going to give us a break at all. So anyway, it was 90 degrees out today for a high. And uh, all day, you know, it was like 7 to 10 mile an hour, a little uh, breeze, just, just comfortable. But of course, I'm not doing much walking around because I'm still giving my uh, gout a rest. I'm about 80% back to normal, but uh, don't want to irritate it and start it back all over again. So drinking water and uh, taking my, um, 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 not blueberry, what's the other one? What, come on, what, what is it? Oh, cherry, yeah. Uh, tart, tart cherry um, capsules. And uh, those usually do a good job. I'll probably throw a couple of cranberry capsules in there just to make sure. But uh, that's what's going on. So anyway, I, uh, I'm going to call this one a day because I got my neighbors coming by to drop by their car radiator that I'll be installing for them later on. And uh, they want to just get it here so it's not bouncing around in the car as they drive around. So. I'll have to plan to do that at ASAP so we can get their second car back on the road. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the plan. What else? Oh yeah, the uh, company that had uh, contacted me about doing a review of the Palba screwdriver, the rechargeable screwdriver that I'm actually giving away in this contest, um, contacted me again and they're going to send me a second product. And this next product is going to be a pretty cool one to review. But I don't think I'm going to give it away because if that thing works, I'm going to use it here on this compound. Because the last one I had, I was telling my friend Pierre from Heat Seeker Bus uh, in an email that I sent to him that uh, my last one uh, was borrowed by the winds. And when they returned it, it was broken. Go figure. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Just uh, wanted to get that out to you real quick and uh, make sure that we got this uh, video in so you guys can get your entries in. I don't know if you saw any dice in this video or not because I sure as heck didn't. So anyway, that's all there is to it, everybody. Have a, a great day, great evening. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down there, like my video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And save and share and all that stuff. Share with your friends. Um, and I need like 101 more um, subscribers to, to reach that 5,000 mark. And I sure I can do it with you guys' help. We'll get there. I always laugh every time I see this. Speaking of Pierre from Heat Seeker Bus, when he was here last year, uh, in the uh, right after New Year's, he was here for a while. He made that up and hung it uh, with a piece of string there. I put the screw in to make sure that the, it didn't blow off because it blew off a few times in the wind. But uh, yeah, that was his little joke on, on there, but I liked it, so it stayed. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.